Now, Storm Team 4 with Central Ohio's most accurate forecast. All right, Storm Team 4 meteorologist Liz McGiffin joining us now. Of course, the countdown to trick or treat mm -hmm. is on. It's been a bit of a soggy day, so of course, a lot of folks wondering if we should keep the umbrella close, if we yes. should maybe speed through the neighborhoods <laughs> yeah. and get the candy a little bit faster. You know, I think depending on the age of the kids and the determination, yeah. they might not even <laughs> notice that it's raining. That they be might true. be trudging through the mud. Yeah. I think our bigger concern might almost be the rain showers that have already happened as opposed to those light okay. showers I'm watching mostly because with the kids running around, it means that you could have some mud in your yard. Uh -huh. So yeah. heads up for that as well. Now, granted, it hasn't been a big downpour today. In fact, over the last 24 hours, we picked up just shy of two tenths of an inch of rainfall here in Columbus. Similar story over toward Zanesville and just a few showers being reported over toward Newark. Now, that being said, I am still watching the live Viper radar for a few light showers. So it's more of on again, off again sprinkles that we've been seeing alongside plenty of those clouds as we zoom right into Columbus. So again, if you're in the Columbus area, you're probably getting ready for either trick or treaters to come by or to go outside and do some trick or treating yourself. We're not actively seeing those rain showers. In fact, the rainfall is pushing its way up to the north and east down towards Centerburg, as well as toward Canal Winchester, down toward Baltimore. It really hasn't been a big steady downpour and in between those showers like we were talking about, we have the soggy conditions from earlier rain showers and this thick blanket of clouds like what's showing up with the Window Nation Tower camera. Now, despite the clouds and those showers, temperature wise, we've been feeling pretty nice today. We're sitting at 65 degrees and have that south to southwesterly breeze. And as it moves into 13 miles per hour, it's going to continue to bring in some pretty warm air with it as well. So as far as what we're looking at for trick or treat, again, that kind of gets going in areas like Columbus, closer to that six to eight o'clock time frame. Temperatures, not a problem at all. We'll be staying in those mid to low 60s. That rain category, we are gradually going to taper off that chance for showers as we approach eight o'clock. But with this chance for showers below 50%, I really think the emphasis is going to be on that light hit or miss rain. And here's what I'm talking about. You'll notice on the pinpoint forecast, not seeing too much change from what's actively happening on the radar as we approach six o'clock. Same thing by 8 p.m. If anything, between six and eight, those showers will become even more widespread. And the showers, they do linger not only tonight, but into first thing tomorrow morning. You'll notice throughout that early morning drive, just a few light hit or miss showers. By noon tomorrow, we start to clear out the rain. And by this time tomorrow evening, we'll be talking about not only clearing out the clouds, but most of those showers as well. Now, overnight tonight, again, some very light showers. Bigger concern probably for those trick-or-treaters will be those soggy, muddy conditions. And temperature-wise, staying pretty nice. We're going to wake up first thing tomorrow morning in the mid-50s. And even with those clouds and spotty showers hit 60 degrees by noon, work our way right back up to the mid-60s by later on in the day. And mid-60s, they make a return for the day on Wednesday after a foggy start. We'll start to add back in the sunshine. It's going to be a gorgeous end of the work week. So Thursday, Friday, even into the day on Saturday, we'll have that mixture of sunshine and clouds and highs back up in the 70s. Another chance for showers makes an appearance, though, late Sunday into Monday. Boy, that's good looking stuff, Liz. Thank you. Uh